Um, I think probably one of the most exciting ones is deep learning for uh, image reconstruction. And it allows us to scan our patients 50 to 75% faster, but with increased uh, image quality. And so we deploy a vendor neutral um, DL solution to all of our leg legacy magnets within our fleet. And we also use an OEM DL product for our, uh, some of our newer magnets. We also use the vendor neutral one for some of our newer ones as well. And we've had tremendous success with this. And really prior to implementing this, we did pilot studies and we also published trials, multi-center, multi-reader trials. And we found that these trials show that the DL enhanced, enhanced FAST scans really outperform standard of care across every single quality feature assessed and it also preserved quantitative integrity. And that's really probably one of, one of the great ones. But again, we also use AI tools for quant. I've been doing that for 16 years. We use it for cancer uh, screening and we use a, uh, some triage apps as well. Although triage apps are more you know, applicable to a hospital-based setting, I'm uh, outpatient. You know, I want to say maybe we're a little bit slow because we're very careful. We have um, talked with a lot of different stakeholders within our institution, legal, IRB, um, compliance. There's sort of a, um, a whole governance group that thinks about implementation uh, of a different AI products, at least in imaging. Um, and, you know, those have engendered really interesting conversations, very useful conversations, but, you know, when you talk to legal and compliance, uh, I guess this is the answer to the second, the second question, you know, all the obstacles and why you can't or why you shouldn't or why it's not a good idea kind of come up. And I think it's necessary to think about, and um, at least in our department, we're very careful and, and you know, not politically conservative necessarily, but but conservative about um, ab about implementation. Um, I also think another big big obstacle is kind of the business model for some of these companies that are out there, startups and other bigger mid-sized companies that are coming out with AI products for diagnostic imaging. Not all of them have, a, or I would say hardly any, have a clearly articulated business model that really works. So there, there are a few ways to think about this. One is to, um, for things that are addressing a, a workflow issue uh, and improving the efficiency of a group, you know, that's clearly an area that, that you can invest on and, and decrease the amount of uh, uh, money you're paying elsewhere. Uh, others are on the quality side is where I see uh, the, the hardest time that we have uh, to try to prove the, the point to leadership that it's, it's worthwhile investing um, that, um, but obviously is, is where the, you know, when, when there is no like real financial return on investment, we just want to make sure that that quality will, uh, will be addressed. Um, and it, I think it's it's a, a hard thing um, to to solve, uh, but with th there's been also with uh, Medicare Medicaid there is uh, there are instances that they are paying for AI uh, you know as was announced I think a few years ago uh, added payments to uh, the use of AI. So I think we're starting to see a move towards that um, when we are able to prove that the AI, the utilization of AI in the clinical care will impact on that patient care and will improve the quality of care, decrease uh, you know, uh, length of stay or, uh, or improve um, outcomes for, for that patient. Uh, as far as the, the payment question goes, I'm skeptical that Medicare and Medicaid and the AMA are going to create 
net new CPT codes for us. Uh, you know, we'll need to have outcomes research in order to prove that. And I just look at our track record and radiology of being able to generate outcomes research. Uh, and it's really, really poor. And that's very, that stuff is very expensive. So um, I, I think that we're, we're going to have to be creative in the way that we, ways that we uh, try to finance this.